Hi ho wee way. What's up, anime? Uh, if it's your first time watching, we're just telling a choose your own adventure story with an AI. That's K9000. I'm Jason. Let's get something started. And here we go. We got something from anime. Thank you, anime. All right. You are Tony, a guy who has been having nightmares about ghosts and goblins. You ask your adopted father, Jason, if you can sleep in his bed so you'll feel safe. Jason says, sure, why not? That night, you, nice. Jason and Corey sleep on Jason's bed. Jason starts having a nightmare about a birthday ghost. Corey tries to calm him down, but Jason starts freaking out. Option 1. He wakes up and runs away from the room. You wake up too, but you don't see anything. You go into the kitchen and notice that there is no light in the house. Hmm. Option 2. Jason wakes up screaming and crying. Corey stands over him and says, What is it, son? Mm -hmm. What happened? Jason looks at him with tears running down his face. Option 3. Finally, the three of you decide that maybe it would be better if Jason stayed home alone tonight. Vote for your favorite AI response. Even I decided that I think I should say up. All right, so there's a birthday ghost. Tony's, we're dreaming about ghosts and goblins. Jason wakes up screaming and crying. Corey stands over him and says, what is it, son? What happened? Jason looks at him with tears running down his face. Uh, okay. Jason shouts, the nightmare is real. You look around and notice that Jason, that the world is filled with ghosts and goblins. Jason shouts, the nightmare is real. You look around and notice that the world is filled with ghosts and goblins. Yeah, everybody's the sun. Option 1. You jump out of bed and run into the living room. You see a ghost standing in the doorway. You scream and run back to your bedroom. Corey comes running in after you. Option 2. They are everywhere. Corey reaches out and touches Jason's shoulder. Uh -huh. He asks, what do we do? Jason replies, I don't know. Option 3. There are goblins everywhere. They're all wearing clothes, but they have no faces and only eyes in their heads. They uh -huh. are standing in the hallway of the house, looking Big at you and Jason. Man? Vote for your favorite AI response. Goblins with only eyes? So no mouth or nose? Weird little goblin dudes? At least they're not naked. Well, I mean, I think just eyes is pretty terrifying, too. At least they're clothed. Yeah, yeah. They're clothed. But at what cost?
What's up, Federico? Uh, we're Tony, and our nightmares have come true. Now you're all caught up. We just started, so. Just got out of the work. Nice, nice. There are goblins everywhere. They're all wearing clothes, but they have no faces and only eyes in their heads. They are standing in the hallway of the house, looking at you and Jason. Okay. Okay, well. You. Uh. You poke the goblin standing in front of the exit right in the eyes and run away with Jason. As you get downstairs, you notice the ghosts and goblins are having one massive birthday party. Jason squeals in fear at the top of his lungs. I hate birthdays. Kiss me. You poke the oh goblin boy. standing in front of the exit right in the eyes and run away with Jason. As you get downstairs, you notice the ghosts and goblins are having one massive birthday party. Jason squeals in fear at the top of lungs, I hate birthdays. At the top of lungs. Option 1. You try to pull him into the kitchen, but he just runs away. The goblins chase after you, and you decide to go upstairs. Back upstairs we go, I guess. Option two. He Doing runs back upstairs and hides behind his closet door. You rush downstairs and enter Jason's room. You see him sitting on the edge of his bed, sobbing. Oh, wow, yeah. Option three. The birthday goblins start singing happy birthday to you and Jason. They sing, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. My name's happy not birthday, Troy. dear Troy. Happy birthday, Wrong Troy. House, guys. We gotta go across the street. Vote we just for your traumatized favorite AI the family. Response. What do you mean their name's not Troy? The birthday goblins start singing happy birthday to you and Jason. They sing, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Troy, happy birthday Troy. Oh well. You notice, uh, a sexy goblin. Standing in the kitchen and lean in for a kiss. Uh, you notice a sex goblin standing in early. kitchen oh, yeah. and lean in for kiss. Option one the goblin grabs your face and kisses you hard. You get scared and run back upstairs. Jason comes running down the stairs and jumps into your arms. Ah, cool. You oh hug him tight. Thanks for Option telling your two. friends. She kisses you on the cheek and says, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Troy. Uh, happy birthday, Troy. These love to sing that birthday song. Option three. He grabs your neck and pulls you into the bedroom. Oh, it's a... The next he, thing you know, he's a, raping he you. Knows a sex you scream goblin. in pain as he pushes I, your head against the goblin. wall. Hi, what's up, Luke? Vote Welcome. for your favorite Welcome AI response. Hey, thanks for the follow, Luke. <laughs> We're telling a story about a sex goblin, I guess, now, Luke. I, I, you know, you missed one letter. Sexy goblin, sex goblin. Is there a difference? Uh, you said it, Omagona, and you made it happen, so. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd 
We're having the worst birthday party ever. With ghosts and goblins. He grabs your neck and pulls you into the bedroom. Mm -hmm. The next thing you know, he's raping you. Whoa! You scream in pain as he whoa, pushes your head that. against the wall. Whoa, 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 Whoops. Uh, Amy, retry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, my G. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why, why, why? Hold on. We're changing it, though. Uh, Amy, uh, 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 prompt. Uh, you head outside. You head outside. Option one. You see Jason standing by the door. We're he runs doing. inside, locks the door behind him and jumps on his bed. Corey comes running We're in. Doing that last What's going one. on? Option two. You see wow. the goblins are dancing and laughing. You try to hide behind Jason, but he gets scared by them. I didn't even know this. You scream and run back inside. You find Jason hiding under the bed. Option 3. You see the goblins are all gone. You go back inside and see Corey sitting on the couch. You tell him what happened. Corey says, it's okay, Troy. Vote for your favorite AI response. Alright, we might start a new story after that one. Yeah, it keeps saying Troy instead of Jason. Which makes me think that they're at the wrong house. This birthday party is meant for Troy, who loves ghosts and goblins. And that ain't us. Why have we become Troy, exactly? Tony, Troy, they're close. If you can't read the form really well. The handwriting was messy. It's an easy mix-up. Aren't we Tony? We're Tony for sure, yeah. I could see if you lazily looked at a form, though. How the You two see could be Jason confusing. standing by the door. He runs inside, locks the door behind him, and jumps on his bed. Corey comes running in. What's going on? Uh, you tell Corey. And... A gaggle of goblins that there is no Troy here. Troy lives across the street. You tell yes. Corey and a gaggle of goblins that there is no Troy here. Luke, uh, Troy lives across the street. You could throw out suggestions anytime. Option yeah. one. You want to go and, find uh, him, but Corey says, you could use wait here, channel points I'm gonna to go check on Troy. The story as well, you so. hear a knock on the door. Option two, you tell them that they need to stop singing and go home. Yes. You then run into the house. You walk into the living room and see a naked Troy lying on the couch. <laughs> what the fuck? Troy, Option you don't three, live here. Corey says, why don't you go check on him? I'm going to call the police. You say, no, he's fine. Just don't make it's a goblin just a dream. Lolly. Yeah. Vote for your favorite AI response. Corey, you are the police. That's also. Goblin short stack. <laughs> yeah, just a pile, got pile of goblins on the, the bed. Goblins have smaller breasts than me. Hey. Just because goblins are shorts doesn't mean they can't be stacked. You tell them that they need to stop singing and go home. You then run into the house. That's the you most walk into the living thing. room and see a naked Troy lying on the couch. Hey, I generated images of goblin short stacks. Yeah, please. <laughs> Join the Discord, Luke, and post them in. Uh... Here you go. Here's a link to that. <clears throat> uh, uh, you explain to Troy 
that he doesn't live here and has to go home. Troy says his classic catchphrase. You explain to Troy that he doesn't live here and has to go home. Troy says his classic catchphrase. Option 1. I'm sorry Troy, I didn't know. You tell him to leave and lock the door. You head upstairs and wake up Corey. Corey says, what's going on? Option 2. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were my brother, Jason. Oh. You say, no, you do not belong here. Go home now or I'll call the police. Option 3. I don't know where I am. You tell him to get <laughs> dressed and okay. go home. You and Corey take him back across the street. No, that's to okay, his house. anime. I didn't hear it either. I didn't hear or read it. So you're Vote fine. You're your fine. favorite AI response. I I removed it from the story, so it's it's not in the memory or nothing. <clears throat> Derby dump is dead, so I revived it. Okay, thank you, Omagata. The horses are back in town. I'm trying to make goblin, goblins. Please post them in the art channel. I would love to see goblins. But it's all lolly. That's fine. That's totally fine. I don't know where I am. You tell him to get dressed and go home. You and Corey take him back across the street Discord to his TOS house. Discord TOS issue. Oh, hmm. Wow. Well, uh, if, yeah, if they're naked, that maybe. If you could post them, though. I mean, I feel like Discord has like the auto mod. There you go. Exactly. Yeah, Omicron's got it. Yeah. If they're naked, just add with clothes on to the end of the prompt. Fully clothed, of age, not illegal in any way. Uh, I think it's time to start a new one. Here we go. 18 and up. Exactly. All right, here we go. New story. Hey, what's up, Seven Sage? Perfect time. We're just about to start another story. Let me go on here. I found the Holy Grail, a typesetting and translation AI. Oh, please share the, the Discord, Seven Sage. I can stay for the full stream for the first time in ages now. Nice, oh my God. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, I don't know what... Discord has like a it must scan like the pictures to know if it's like not safe for work or not, but it does a lot of false flags. I don't understand how at all it remotely can do. People report them. Oh, but people report it. But even with like new images, like when we, we uh, generate some AI images, some very innocent like a butter man. It it's an image that doesn't exist before, and then it somehow gets flagged. It must be very similar to naughty image. Yeah, I got an auto flag from AI image. Yeah, I get it all the time. Exactly, and it can't possibly be reported already because, yeah, because it's just posted to our Discord and nobody, <laughs> nobody reports it. So I don't know. Very weird. Uh, all right. New story. Uh, looking for a prompt here. Okay, here we go. Uh, this one's by Sure Why Not. Thank you, Sure. Uh, thank you. You are Marky Douglas, a seemingly average guy with a questionable past. You awake in a sizable sealed room with your leg chained to the wall. Across from you sits a man named Steve who is chained to the wall as well. 
The evil, gravely voice of Jigsaw comes over the intercom. Wanna play a game? He says, the only way to escape is to saw off your own leg. Uh -huh. Power Make up. your choice. Oh, nice. Steve shouts, I can break these cuffs. I Confused, can break these Jigsaw cuffs. replies, you can't break those cuffs. <laughs> Steve screams with effort as he tries to break the cuffs anyway. Option 1. Jigsaw then lowers his voice and says, Your choices are to cut off one of your legs or give yourself up. Okay. Option 2. Whoa, oh my God, Suddenly, I'm... a massive explosion occurs and you feel Point something bomb. hit your leg. You scream out but nothing happens. Triple combo. Your leg nice. begins to throb. Option 3. Then it hits him, I have to cut my leg off so I can get out, he yells at you. You hear a sharp crack and feel a large gash across your lower leg. Okay. Vote for your favorite AI Someone response. Someone else is chopping our leg off. Uh, I can't post images. Uh, Luke, if you go in the rules channel and hit the Kool-Aid man emoji, you should be able to post. We had a problem with bots earlier, so I, I had to make a thing to... Make it so bots can't just spam images and links. Cool, cool. Then it hits him. Okay, I have wow, to cut my is, leg off so I can get very out. Revealing, he yells at you. It's you hear a just sharp good crack enough. and feel a large it's gash across your lower leg. Just covered enough. <laughs> Thank you, Luke. <laughs> that, the only thing goblin about that lady is uh, her green skin. Tribal goblin. Tribal clothes is what gave up that. Wow. Uh, let's see. You level up and gain the following limb removal power or you level up and gain the following limb removal power option <laughs> thank one you, Federico, one for quarter adding. damage wow, reduction to limb zero that's cool <laughs> thank option you for making two, your therapy horse leg cutting level one <laughs> allows you to cut your leg into pieces and remove them from your body this power will remain active for four hours that is a horse option three cut lower leg off you must cut off all of the lower leg Robot you will lose horse. one foot, but will be able That's to regain amazing. the same leg after you complete this task. <laughs> I'm star on that one, yeah. Vote for your favorite <laughs> AI response. Uh... I'll I'll be able to regain it by picking it up because I sawed it off. What's up, Rustbox? How's it going? I posted true horses. Okay, that's more appropriate, Luke. It's still saucy, but it's not cut goblin lower leg off. Goblin you must cut off all of the lower leg. You will lose one foot, but will be able to regain the same leg after you complete this task. <laughs> Chocktober is posted in horses now. Okay, D the derby dump is getting getting wild tonight. Uh, canned horse meat became a channel meme. Exactly. Okay, here we go. Uh, we sawed off our leg. You, uh, grab your leg and crawl into the next room where you are faced to face with Jigsaw. You reveal your troubled past. 
You grab your leg and crawl into the next room where you are face we'll to face with Jigsaw. Disaster here. You reveal your troubled past. Option 1. He asks what happened. I was attacked by some thugs when I was younger. They were trying to rob me and I fought back. Okay, okay. Option 2. He explains that you were a former high school football player who was always a bit of an asshole. Option 3. I'm and that's sorry why you about what happened to you, he trip? says, but I need you to do me a favor first. Uh, I think the favor is done. I got my own link for you. But yeah, I'm running novel AI locally. Are you just running stable diffusion? Oh, are you running from the leak, Luke? Pain, but worth it. He explains that you were a former high school football player who was always a bit of an asshole. It could run on your machine, Luke? I'm very curious about the specs of it. Got it replicating novel AI almost exact. Uh... Remember, careful what is recorded online. I mean, the leak's out there, so I guess if you're running it, it's it's whatever. Okay, interesting. I mean, you're not selling it, so. They aren't gonna go in after people using it. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of impossible. They wanna find the leaker. Well, I can run stable diffusion well myself. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, well, here you go. They're working with law enforcement, yeah. I mean, they'll probably find the guy. Uh, with GitHub and stuff, like, there's a trail, like, unless they, like, perfectly created an alt and stuff, and I don't know. There's not likely? I don't know. Uh,. It's, I don't think it's been done. The dude burned a zero day exploit. Oh uh, yeah, I don't really know how he did it. Whoever did it was well connected and likely rich. Okay. Yeah, I don't really know too much about. I thought it was just someone who worked leaked to GitHub credentials. Good luck all the data is on my bank character. Yeah. Yeah, someone hacked him. Oh, I didn't realize that, Luke. Uh. Okay, here we go. Natural disaster incoming. You feel the earth begin to quake and uh, the warehouse where you are being held captive uh, falls apart uh, you see that you you look around the wreckage and notice you were not the only person in a saw puzzle trap room. You feel the earth begin to quake and the warehouse where you are being held captive falls apart. You look around the wreckage and notice you are not the only person in a saw puzzle trap room. Option 1. In the other room, another man named Rob is also chained to the wall. You and Rob see each other's eyes widen when we see his chain snap. <laughs> okay, Earthquake is Option freeing two. all the, the Jigsaw saw asks victims. if anyone else has been trapped here before. You tell him no, he tells you that he has had a few people die because they were unable to escape. Option 3. Wow, you see the remains of several other people trapped in the same room. You quickly find yourself surrounded by them. You take off your leg and begin to walk away from them. <laughs> Vote for your favorite AI response. 
He just built rooms on top of rooms of failed, uh... I would like that if, like, removable leg hacks. Yeah, exactly. Just a skyscraper of failure. In the other exactly. room, another man named Rob is also <laughs> chained to the wall. You and Rob see each other's eyes widen when we I, see his chain snap. I love that idea that, like, the Saw movie, he go, he, he, he plans this for, like, years upon years. Uh, totally covers his tracks. He's going to get away with it. Uh, everyone's in these horrible you know murder rooms and then an earthquake just happens and frees everybody but he just keeps fucking up uh and now he it's the one thing mother nature is the one thing he never accounted for you and rob team up to kick to make to get revenge on jigsaw you start by chaining jigsaw to a radiator you and rob team up to get revenge on jigsaw you start by chaining jigsaw to a radiator Option 1. You then use a saw to remove the radiator from the floor. Oh, Jigsaw is unable to move and you proceed to cut off his head. You do this by cutting off his neck. Oh, Option 2. Jesus. You then proceed to cut off Jigsaw's arms you. and legs. Wow. You then proceed to cut off Jigsaw's head. Really why it cuts this dude's Option head three, off. Option yeah. 3. You then take a knife and cut through several layers of chains before cutting open his chest. Look at art. You see his heart is beating frantically as he struggles to breathe. Canned horse meat. Wow, Vote weird. for your favorite AI response. You got what you wanted, Omogono. You fi it finally happened. Imagine you're in an escape room when and a tornado hits. Yeah, when I think it's part. Wow, this escape room is really immersive. <laughs> or you like flick a switch in a puzzle room and the tornado hits. You're like, wow, they had a tornado switch. You bet I'd be shooting that lock. Yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine the number of people that actually just fu fully fuck up and destroy the escape rooms. Like just punt, like kick through the walls. Ripping out fucking light sockets and stuff. You then take a knife and cut through several layers of chains before cutting open his chest. You see his heart is beating frantically as he struggles to breathe. He was wearing like a, a chain vest? A chain turtleneck sweater? Aliba! Yeah, okay. You scream. Kali. Ba. As you rip his heart out of his chest with your bare hands. You scream, Kali Ma, as you rip his heart out of his chest with your bare hands. Option Come 1. Home. Rob takes the opportunity to slash Jigsaw's throat with his knife. You pull out your severed leg and throw it at Jigsaw. This is what you get! Option 2. You then proceed to tear off his head with your bare hands, crushing his skull against the floor. <laughs> yeah, number one You look spot, at him yeah. with disgust as you hear his blood flow in the sink. Oh, great. Option 3. You then pull out a plastic bag and place it over the body. 
You then use a small drill to remove the chain holding Jigsaw in place. Wow, we, where are we going full Vote hostile for your favorite AI response. I like that we throw our severed leg and disgust like, you made us do this. If you're wondering why this is happening to me, that's why. You made me cut off my own damn leg. Piece of crap. And then Rob's like, well, I'm lucky I didn't have to do that. I'm lucky I, li I waited. I hesitated. A lucky earthquake hit. It rescued Rob. Rob takes the opportunity to slash Jigsaw's throat with his knife. Uh -huh. You pull out your severed leg and throw it at Jigsaw. Jigsaw, please. Begs, Jigsaw begs you to spare him and says he knows what you want most in life. Jigsaw begs you to spare him and says he knows what you want most in life. Option 1, to live. You see a small cut across your arm and realize you need to cut yourself free. You grab a nearby table and cut off your hand. Oh great, now we're just Option addicted two, to solving problems woman. with cutting you scream, off limbs. You have no idea what you're doing, as you stab him with your leg. He dies instantly. That's Option amazing three, karma. I know you want to be a hero, but you are no match for me. You try to use your powers to free yourself from the chains, but they are too strong. <laughs> yeah. I think we're just addicted to amputation Vote because it solved AI one problem, response. and so now we're like, maybe, maybe I gotta cut off my hand to solve another problem. It's like, no, no, no Marky Douglas, don't, don't do that. There's, uh, the world is your oyster here. You got Jigsaw on the ropes. I gotta get back into One Piece. I think the episode I left off on was there was like a pyramid that was collapsing. It was like a big boss battle. It was our others ba voting. Hey, it's okay, Seven Stage. Yeah, anybody. Yeah, anybody could vote if you want to vote too. I think I'm in the hundreds or two hundreds, possibly, for... Oh. There's too many episodes of One Piece, I agree. I'm just kind of messing with the image gen. No, that's fine, Luke, hey. My brain is going wild. Good, good. Use that creativity. Sometimes you get weird bouts of inspiration, <laughs> like Goblin Girls. A woman. You scream, you have no idea what you're doing, as you stab him with your leg. Actually, he dies I instantly. Already. Wow. Slime girl bartender. Okay. Interesting. I generated 10 pictures of mac and cheese a couple days ago. <laughs> Is it in the art channel? Or, or just for your personal mac and cheese folder on your computer, 7th Sage. Uh, I mean, that's too perfect to... We killed Jigsaw with our own amputated leg. That's just like... He tried one desperate maneuver. I know you want a woman! And we're like, go! Uh, here we go. Okay, new story. I have way too many images. I mean, yeah. Image gen or and stable diffusion and all that, like AI generated images, just like with text gen. Like I've been playing text generated games, gigs upon gigs. <laughs> wow, we 
Uh, we've been generating stories two years ago, since before the pandemic, so. Any idea that comes to my mind? To... No, I mean, I've had, I've had ideas in my head and then I generated an image and it was like, that's pretty close, which is weird. Uh, that that's possible now. <laughs> like, a lot of the time it's a miss. But sometimes you get those images, it's like, yeah, that's pretty much it. Wow. <clears throat> uh, let's get another a new prompt here. Uh, I'm looking through the prompts channel. Oh, interesting. I didn't even know that was a thing, Luke. I want to throw a knife at the sun. Okay. Uh, let's just do that. Here we go. Simple prompt. Thank you, Patrico. Uh, uh, A, B, start. You are Fred Rico, and you throw a knife at the sun with your uh demon enchanted demon cursed demon powered throwing arm You are Fred Rico and you throw a knife at the sun with your cursed demon arm. There we go. I think that's good enough to start. You are Fred Rico and you throw <laughs> oh, that... a knife at the sun with cursed there demon you go. arm. That's how it happens. Option one. Fred Rico. You roll 1d10 and it is a critical hit, dealing 12 damage to the sun. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> we dealt 12 damage to the sun? Option two. I was just about to say that. It's amazing oh, how they made it look like wow. he threw it at the sun. Option yeah, 3. That's crazy, you Luke. curse yourself to be unable to Looks use your great, arms though. for any other purpose save throwing knives. You are completely blind, but can still hear sounds and see shadows. Vote for your favorite AI response. <laughs> how much HP does the sun have? It seems like an overthought or a... Uh, uh, Something the DM didn't think about. I'll just give the sun a, a hundred hit points. Or maybe I'll give it ten hit points. Who's gonna attack the sun? We just attacked the sun. Alala fell. Like from Final Fantasy? Also the idea of rolling a dice to hit the sun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, roll for sun initiative. You roll 1d10 and it is a critical hit, dealing 12 damage to the sun. Fuck. Wow. Uh, you have destroyed the sun. And now must prepare for the for the infinite winter to come. You have destroyed the sun and now must prepare for the infinite winter to come. Option one, you are Fred Rico and you throw a knife Wait at a the second. moon with cursed demon hand. Cursed you roll one d10 and it is a critical hit, dealing 12 damage to the moon. Okay, no, 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 we can't lose. Option two: that quickly. You spend two days in preparation of the endless snowfall that will destroy the world. Option three: One of these days, I'll get a decent weapon. 
your mother says as she walks in. Oh shit, mom. What's going on? <laughs> Our mom doesn't know what's going on. Vote for your favorite AI did you response. Just, did you just destroy the sun? No. Mm, Fred. Fred. Can't be throwing knives at the sun anymore. Well, there's no more sun, so. The sun's gone, mom, okay? Are you happy? No. Why would I be? Mom, don't worry about that that decent weapon you've always wanted because the earth is now ending, so. My mom would probably scold me for destroying the sun. One of these days, My I'll mom get a would decent just not weapon. believe me ever. Your mother she says as she walks in. Oh shit, mom, what's going on? You try to hide it, but your mom looks up and instantly knows what happened. Uh, your mom scolds you for destroying the sun and takes you to demon church to confess your sins at demon church the pastor says there is only one thing that can save us now. Summoning the e the hell sun. Summoning another sun from hell. You try to hide it, but your mom looks up and instantly knows what happened. Your mom scolds you for destroying oh, the sun hey, and takes you to Demon a, Church to confess your sins. Quite a lot of new followers. At Demon Church, the pastor says there is only one thing that can save you now, summoning save another sun from hell. Option 1. How do we summon sun. another sun? Uh, we sun have to be pure of heart. Oh, you ask him. Option 2. Wait, what? You yell out. 50. Yes, wow, more you than must double. find a way yeah. to bring back your son. The pastor tells you, how do I do that? Option 3. The priest says his name is Jonathan and he will not be long. When he comes he says, I am here to summon your son. <laughs> I'm gonna change these to son. for your favorite AI response. His name will be Jonathan. I accidentally spelled son from hell. Well, I guess this kid's gonna turn into a son. Another son from hell. He's a hot... He's hot temperature wise. He's hot physically wise and he's hot temperature wise. I just imagine a giant kid rising into the sky. Yeah, you know what? We're going with it. My misspelling is now the way the story's going. <laughs> giant demon. Giant hell sun. And he just goes, hey, it's like the Teletubby baby. <laughs> So every day, everybody's got to wake up there. <laughs> and we're like, Ugh. Oh, the old son was much the better. The priest says his name is Jonathan and he will not be long. When he comes, he says, I am here to summon your son. The old son didn't whine relentlessly until just constantly screaming in pain. Yeah, exactly. Uh, 
Uh, here we go. You complete the summoning ritual. And, uh, hell. Hell sun. Rises into the sky to take the old sun sun's place you name your new hell sun uh oh well, it's already jonathan okay you complete the summoning ritual and jonathan rises into the sky to take the old sun's place Jonathan is exactly like the old son, except Jonathan wails in pain. Constantly screams in pain. Okay, there, that's what's better. Except Jonathan constantly wails, constantly screams in pain. You complete the summoning ritual, and Jonathan rises into the sky to take the old it's son's place. It's happening, Luke. It's happening. Jonathan is exactly like the old son, except Jonathan constantly screams in pain. Option one. He has a demon arm, so you cannot touch him or he might kill you. Oh, he has a demon What's arm too. What's wrong with me, you ask? Your soul has been corrupted by the evil you did. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Option two. What do we do now? Where does this Whoa, lead us? Whoa, number three. You ask. What the fuck? We are doomed to suffer forever. The priest says. Option three. He also has a very small penis. What do we do now? <laughs> you ask. Oh my god. Vote for your favorite AI response. Stop looking at the sun's penis. <laughs> that's that's the real reason you shouldn't look at the sun, so you don't see the, <laughs> the giant sun penis. Just wake up one more than two giant sun penis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All the moms. Yeah, Jonathan's like much less bright, but now all the moms are like, still don't look at the sun. Never stare into the sun. I will not stop. You're gonna go blind, Federico. He also has a very small penis. What do we do now? You ask. <laughs> uh, people around the world uh, begin to go blind because they are staring at Jonathan. People around the Space world circumcision. begin to go blind because they are staring at Jonathan. Starring, staring. Option yeah. one. We wait until he dies of natural causes or you find someone else who can summon him. The priest says, why did the old sons die? You ask. Option two, a new <laughs> yeah, storm begins like to form over the earth. To blame it on somebody else. We pray to the old God to send us a savior. You, you say as everyone else starts to pray. What about me? Option Fred, three, it's not everyone you. begins to scream and run away when a giant cloud of smoke appears above them. A voice says, Welcome to the great Satan's realm. I am Jonathan. Wow, okay. Vote for your favorite AI response. Interesting. Uh, you know what? I guess Jonathan's just going to keep... Too much Jonathan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Jonathan, go up in the sky, okay? You can't keep coming back to Earth. You're messing up the... The oceans and crops. Every time you come back to Earth, the forever winter starts. You can't keep visiting us, okay? You have to stay in the void of space all the time, okay? That's how the... Power up! Okay, here we go. We'll find out what this does. We wait until he dies of natural causes or you find someone else who can summon him. The priest says, why did the old sons die? You I ask. Do, do. You level up. And game the following demon summon ability. Demon summoning ability. You level up and gain the following demon summoning ability. Option 1. Summoning. This is a spell that allows you to call forth a demon. You must have a lot of experience in this type of magic before you can even learn this spell. What the hell is number 2? Option 2 to 1 d4 plus 2 plus 1 equals 2 d6 1 d10 plus 3 equals 1 d12 1 d... No. Option 3. You may summon a demon that is exactly like you, except that the summoned demon will always scream in pain. The summoned demon will also have a very small penis. <laughs> That's funny, but no. Hold on, what are we doing? Vote for your favorite AI response. No, hold on, redo, 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 redo. Option Why one, always you can command any up. living creature to obey you. They will do anything if you say so. Okay. Well, we know why the old sons died now. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Option two, summoning a demon, which is a random creature. It is your target's soul that is trapped inside it. You can cast the spell once per day for two hours. Option three, they were perfectly summoning good. you can summon uh... demons to assist you in battle. You can summon demons to assist you in battle. You can summon demons to help heal wounds. Vote for your favorite AI response. Uh, with number one, I feel like we have to command Jonathan to stay in the void of space. And also face away from us. So his, uh, you know, his PP is always not facing earth i wanted my tiny penis doppelganger demon <laughs> well <laughs> that could be a that could be a prompt or something <laughs> uh, man the things that happen on this you can command any living creature to obey you they will do anything if you say so well we know why the old sons died now Oh, I watched the Vincent Price prompt VOD. It was fantastic. Only minor gripe is Facebook CEO not being an Android himself. Oh, man. Well, we kind of worked him in with the metaverse. Like, he was sort of robotic, I guess, yeah. But yeah, that's a, that's a big miss. That he wasn't a... We chopped his head off and he wasn't an Android. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Uh, I feel like this, this is how it has to end. You use your new power. Robot version is now the real version. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, you use your new ability to command Jonathan to return to the void in space where the sun used to be be quiet and fi always face is and always face away from earth well <laughs> be quiet and wear some damn pants Jonathan
complies. And the world thanks you. You use your new ability to command Jonathan to return to the voice in space where the sun used the to be, void. be Kayet, uh, and whatever. wear some damn pants. Jonathan complies and the world be thanks Kayet? you. Oh my god, I Option can't spell one. whatsoever. And what about me? Will I become a demon too? You ask. No, you will stay human for now. The priest says. Option 2. The priest says. You sit down and watch the world slowly fade away. Damn it. That was close. You think to yourself. What should I do now? Option 3. You leave the church and head home. Mom, what are you doing home so early? Shouldn't you be at work? You ask. Vote for your favorite AI response. Or now, yeah, the priest knows we're going to hell. Exactly. Kiss me. Okay. And then who are we leaning in for a kiss with? Not the priest. The priest, <laughs> okay. And what about me? Will I become a demon too? You ask. No, you will stay human for now. The priest says. Okay, here we go, I guess. You lean in for a kiss. You lean in for a kiss. I'm not gonna specify who. Option one, your mom stops you. Fred, I want you to know that I'm proud of you. Option two, thank you, father. You say, so who am I going to fuck now? Whoa! You ask. Whoa! We were Option three, having you relations are surprised with Jonathan? when your mom puts her hand over your mouth. You see a vision of your mom as a demon. She turns you into a demon and throws you out of the house. Whoa. Vote for your favorite AI response. So I saved the world and you kicked me out of the house now? She's like, well, you also endangered the world, so you don't get to... You don't get to rewarded for almost ending the earth. Like you did it. You fixing it gets you back to zero. And in fact, I don't want you in my house if you're gonna be throwing <laughs> daggers into space and destroying celestial entities. And stop throwing my shit into space. Bruh. Number one is polar opposite. We get some, we get some recognition, and our mob stops us from making a huge mistake. No, no, no! Don't kiss the priest. Your no, mom no, no. stops don't, you. Don't do that, Fred. I want you to know that I'm proud of you. But, but, mother, it's what I do. I, I think that's a good place to end. Yeah. We got our mother's love. Isn't that nice? Uh, well, thanks for watching, everybody. That's it for tonight. Uh, tomorrow? Yeah, more AIPD. I'll probably be out a little bit earlier. Uh, and see you tomorrow. Join the Discord, submit your prompts, and see you next time. Bye, ho wee way, and welcome, Luke. I hope you liked uh, the stream, and I hope you tune into a future episode. So... All right. Bye, everybody.